There are over two million unoccupied homes across the country. Behind these boarded up windows, there's a job to be done. In Sheffield, property manager Gavin Windle has come to cast his eyes over a three bedroom house. Gavin hasn't been told what lies inside. No news in this business means bad news. It's been secured up already, so basically there's an environmental problem on the inside, so we'll pop in and have a look. Well, the first thing I eat is the smell. So it smells rotten. The floor's covered. Basically, I can barely get through the door, to be honest with you. It could be worse. But not by that much. I can't see anywhere where the, the old tenants had sat. Gavin tries to reach the kitchen. Hardly a dream destination. It's absolutely disgusting. As you can see, the state of the cooker. I don't like to make you toast off of that. There's basically rotting food, fat, just absolutely everywhere. It's just unbelievable how somebody can live, let alone prepare and eat the food in this area. Now everybody knows that does this job, you shouldn't really open the fridge, but let's just have a look anyway. Oh, the first thing each is the smell. It's the back of your throat. Plate of leftover peas. I'm not quite sure why that's put in there, because there's not many on there. And the state of that under there is just absolutely unbelievable. Gavin is starting as he knows he'll have to go on. Upstairs isn't inviting. There's just nowhere to move. This can's absolutely everywhere. It's just not sort of the place that you want to sleep in on a night, to be honest with you. Could this have once been a family home? Obviously a young person's place. Into his aeroplanes as well. You can see there's absolutely stuff everywhere. There's rotting food everywhere. It just feels grotty and it just feels horrible, to be honest with you. This is turning out to be less of a detective story, more like a horror movie. Well, it becomes a bit more apparent when you come up here that it's uh, an older person that's living here. By the look of the clothes that are hanging about, it looks like a, uh, a female. Also by the kettle, the tea bags here, it looks like she's been bedridden. She's probably just been left up here, obviously. We've no way of getting downstairs or out and about to be able to clean the property. Having to basically live and breathe dirt. It's not the sort of place that you want your mother or your grandmother living if you're supposed to be looking after or caring for her. It's just upsetting, really. It's a shame. Gavin takes the key decision. This is a job for grime fighters Dan and Glyn. It's the start of what looks like being a long day. Extreme cleaners Dan and Glynn are facing up to the mammoth task of clearing the three-bedroom house. Lovely. Some work on air, Glenn. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, nice. What are we having for dinner? Before getting started, Dan has to carry out the all-important risk assessment. Is it free from vermin? Um, uh, I take a guess. It. I'll say no. It's a mistake with rubbish to take it at face value. You've got to get to know it. You never know what you find when you come to places like this. It's been left ages, you've undercover all sorts. It's the David Attenborough moment that Dan finds off-putting. You can see holes where the mice have been digging, so I think we might find a few. And if we do, I'm gonna run like a girl. I don't like that or mice. And his friend doesn't help. It's just a big girl, isn't it? That's all. I'm a big girl. Yes, you are a big girl. It's a long walk home, you know. I don't have to tell you. There's a bus outside. Too many cooks? Not in this case. Everything's covered in a layer of grease. It's just a bit sticky. If the fauna don't get you, the flora certainly will. Smell. You get that fatty smell. Weak stomach. Got to make sure there's a clear way. For that door, because I'll be out, out of it. As we all know, revenge is a dish best served cold. Hey, where do you want to smell? Love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Cool. Steady. Can't just stuff like that, me. Horrible. But Dan's not finished with Glyn just yet. That four, four to week old chicken in there. Oh. <laughs> you can take it, go on. 
That is horrible smell. Big horrible chicken. And brought tears to eyes. Dan stays on the alert. You can't relax for a second. Everything's covered in rat droppings. Say rat, I'm gonna squeal like a girl. I'm not kidding. Dan and Glyn are making progress, but it's slow work. Downstairs has taken a few hours. Upstairs, far worse, will take much longer. In Sheffield, extreme cleaners Dan and Glyn have made great progress. They've cleared the whole of the ground floor, and it's now time to make a start upstairs. All right, nice. Think you liked his cans of bitter quite a bit. How do you know when you've got a real rubbish problem? When you can hardly open the doors? It's just full of clothes. Let's be calm, but this could be tricky. <laughs> if there's a rat in here, I'm going to cry. It's a mountain to climb, then a mountain to clear by the end of the day. There's dripping stinks. Cans of half-finished beer. Now that's a waste. Waste the money and all buying it if you can't swap them. So I'm going to get home and my wife's going to think I've got out on tiles all night. But they're working because I'm going to stink like a brewery. But it's not her indoors he has to worry about. It's more like fur indoors. I think we've got another, we've got another bit of a rat problem. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Big rats. You can deal with them. It's down here, you can see where they've been nested. See all rat droppings again. Look, loads on it this time. They're everywhere in this room, and she used to sleep in here. We've even got rat droppings on the quilt. So obviously, while she went to bed, they're running all over her. Oof. Not a nice way to live. I don't mind seeing rat droppings, I just don't want to see a rat. Don't speak too soon, Dan. Oh, is that what's making a noise? I can't stand them. They don't bother me. Rats. I'm standing this corner now. Dan is trying not to him. give in. See him under that bag? Aha! Uh -huh. Is there, look? He's here. Ooh, ah. Is he? Is he? Aha! Uh -huh. Dan's had enough. <laughs> Glyn has to soldier on alone. But Dan has only had a temporary lapse. He's soon back fighting. And before long, victory is theirs. After a few hours, the rooms are empty. Now Dan can show what he can really do with the fogger. It's a machine which kills and cleans across every surface in the house. That's it now, it's all been vaporised and cleared. It's just ready for a deep clean now, so the tenant can move into it. That's all done. See you later.